channel it's Max from a Max Creation. It's Max. What are we talking about today? It's the great news for those people that have what you call the higher card portal. Remember, when we talk about the higher card portal, we talk about the higher card. For those people that watch the FIFA World Cup, will you remember it was the one gateway visa that will accommodate you or allow you come into the Qatar, watch the game for free, enjoy all the services, public transport, medical health, and all the services, the fan zones that you'll have. What is the latest information that we have right now? It's about the higher card and the higher card portal. Remember, three categories of visas, of what you call the e-visas, have been added to what you call the higher card portal. Meaning that the higher card portal now is going to be the basis for attracting or allowing the tourists or the visitors coming into Qatar. And this is very great news. Remember, as per the latest announcement that is flowering that will grow, is Qatar is announcing what we call a 16 million uh, tourist target uh, every every year by by the end of uh, by by the end of 2030, which is a very good target for it all. And what do we have to say? What are the three categories of the e visa? What, how are they categorized? We are they are categorized in what we call three categories. One we have what we call category A, then we have what we call category um, A2, then another one is what we call category A3. What is category K? Category A is for those people that do not qualify for what you call uh, the free visa entry into Qatar. However, this is going to be classified according to the type of residence you have in Qatar. For example, if you are a Ugandan, and your visa or you're already in Qatar and you have your visa as a Ugandan or as a Kenyan or as a Nepali or as in Bangladesh wherever country you may be coming from it's going to be categorized as in that uh, that order which is going to be under a category a meaning that out of that you'll be entitled to some benefits let's say inviting your family or inviting a friend whatever because depending on the the other announcement uh, the requirements that will be actually uh, 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 communicated earlier on then we have category b that is all uh, category b which is category a2 which is for the people coming from the gcc country if you are coming from man if you are coming from kuwait and you are a national in those countries you will be allowed to come into qatar seemingly without even a uh, without even anything that is stopping you uh, within that category and that one for that category of a2 allows all people of all permission for uh, professions if you are coming those countries to come into Qatar which is a very good uh, uh, way of what you call boosting tourists into the country according to their target which will, will be by 2030. Then we have category A3 that is all about what you call the people coming from uh, people with visas from the Schengen, people are uh, having visas from Canada and people with visas from what you call uh, USA. They will be categorized under that. Remember People talked about the higher card, and remember, still something that we cannot fail to mention is what we call the Expo uh, 2030, 2023 uh, Doha, which is going to be into the country. And what the higher card is the only gateway that you can have. You can even invite your friends. So I think things are going to be a little bit seemingly to be very, uh, very quicker to make entry easing entry into the country and coming and the tourists, even other people will be given opportunity. Let's see what comes and what we see the country.